Putting a square over the root may seem like math, but that's how we get plants to multiply. I'm Sarah Dorenzo, and this is your Work in the Wild update from the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. This week, we're planting buffalo berry at the Yellowtail Wildlife Habitat Management Area, a Game and Fish commissioned owned property outside of Lovell. Game and Fish uses squares of weed berry to help plants survive. Jerry Altermat, habitat biologist, explains why these plastic squares matter. So these weed barriers are pretty important for this plant for a couple of reasons. Um, they retain moisture so that you, know, you don't have that sun beating down that soil and robbing that moisture out of the soil and that evaporation. Um, but also it, it inhibits the growth of plants underneath it so you don't have that competition between this little guy and these established plants which robs moisture and nutrients. So without these weed barriers, the chance of success for that guy living is pretty small. We planted 2,500 buffalo berry plants this spring thanks to support from the Game and Fish Trust Fund, the Wyoming Wildlife Natural Resources Trust Fund, National Wild Turkey Federation, Wyoming Outdoorsmen, and the Shoshone Conservation District. Thanks for watching and see you next time.